Hi friends, I welcome all of you on this Usatility channel. In this particular video, you are going to discover a super easy method to have fun with your best ever merge game, even on a big screen such as a laptop. Everybody knows this is an Android game, and we'll learn how to run it on a computer system. You are watching it on screen, and you may see how it's running. Now let us get it done. A link is displayed in the video description or the first pinned comment. You will see this link. You'll be directed to this web page of Bluestacks Evermerge. Set up Evermerge on your PC by using Bluestacks. Bluestacks is an incredible program to download and install any Android game, even on a large screen. Just press on, download Evermerge for PC, and then this game will be installed on your laptop. The download is complete. Here is the file. We click this file to open it. If it asks for permission, then accept to move forward. Let me minimize the browser so that we can view the installer much better. When we click, customize the installation, we can select the directory. After that, please click here on, back. We can set up the directory where we want to install the game. And press, install now. It'll only take several MBs from the storage of your laptop to download this specific file. A good internet will better support downloading. Now it will proceed to install the emulator. The installation of the emulator is finished now, and we're about to carry on. As Bluestacks is installed first time, therefore it is going to take the time to launch. Keep the eyes stick to the video since we are going to clarify an important step now. We need to sign in to Google Play, let us click on, sign in. For sign in to Google Play, you will have to type email as well as password. You cannot still install the game without sign in because it is a Google Play game. We have clearly explained this simple step so that we will cut it in this video. We will enter the email as well as the password in our Google account, and that's it. We have now logged into it, and it welcomes us. Click on, I agree, to accept the terms of use. It informs us that if we want to make a backup of our device in the cloud, we select no, you do what you would like. We accept it, and it will instantly head over to Google Play. Just hit this particular arrow to exit the emulator and to go to your desktop. There will be these icons, Bluestacks Multi Instance as well as Bluestacks. If you'd like to start the Bluestacks app, then click the Bluestacks icon. Now, we will ultimately install this specific game on the computer. Look, we'll press Google Play as a way to install this amazing game. Now, you can see, my laptop is downloading Ever Merge. If you have a swiftly net connection, then it is not going to take too long to download Ever Merge. To keep the length of the video short for you, I'm going to cut this step and will come back later. After installing the game, the icon of Ever Merge has been displayed on the computer's desktop, so we'll directly begin the game. If we restart the laptop, we double-click this particular Windows desktop icon, and the game will launch. We're able to open Ever Merge from here. But I am going to explain to you how to do that if we get started in Bluestacks. Click here to start Ever Merge and enjoy it. You can also customize the settings of the keyboard from here. For the time being, the configurations of the keyboard look okay, hence we aren't changing. If you need to play Ever Merge in large screen mode, then we will undoubtedly advise two simple options. Just maximize the emulator, and then the screen will broaden. Even so, if you want to get a 100% large screen, then this specific option is not suitable. Touch F11 to get 100% full screen then press the same key to leave that mode. If you'd like to play the game with no interruption, then playing in the full screen setting is the perfect solution. No doubt that playing the game in an emulator uses a lot of power, so the overall performance is determined by the power of your computer. Within no time, I am going to let you know how to change the game language. For this purpose, you are supposed to select Preferences. This drop-down menu will show several languages out of which you can pick any specific language. I have finally altered the game language, C. Now we're done with installing Ever Merge. If the video tutorial was useful for you, then don't forget to subscribe to the Usatility channel so that we'll be back with new videos. We hope that you enjoyed this video, and we will bring some more useful stuff for all of you. Bye.